Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This oracle read is for Scorpio. Alright, so I did shuffle off camera and pulled the cards, but I'll pull a from two more decks, maybe three at the end when I'm done with this, okay? So this is for Scorpio, May 8th to May 15th, or whenever you see this message. When the time is right, the time is right, right? The Spirit Whisperer, Divine Guidance and a Higher Knowing. I feel like this is saying that you are following your intuition and you kind of have this inner wisdom like you're you're really smart and intelligent also the universe is hearing you on your prayers and stuff okay and you are being divinely guided you do have a lot of spirit team around you we all do okay prosperity lies ahead yes good things are coming and there is a new moon actually coming up. And I think it is in Taurus on the 11th. I don't know. You'll have to double check that. But that's crazy if that's right. And you actually got that card in your read. Prosperity does lie ahead for you, okay? Lots of green here. I feel like your heart chakra could use a little healing also. Luck is on your side. You also got another new moon card, so... Maybe if you go to the casino, you might win big on the new moon. <laughs> Don't take my word for it, okay? That goes with following your intuition and that gut instinct. You do have luck coming up, though. Take time to breathe out. Taking time to breathe out and relaxing. Taking a few minutes to yourself. Self-care, self-love, self-acceptance. However it fits your situation, okay? Thorns, weave together the crown you deserve. Yes, because you deserve good things. Definitely. I see flowers coming to you in your near future as well. Somebody might send you flowers or get you flowers. Expectations. Don't seek anyone's approval. Yeah. If you... If, you're one of those who doesn't care what other people think or don't worry about whether they like you or not. Hey, as long as you like you, you're good, right? You don't need anybody else's approval on that note. Uncovering treasure beneath the surface lies great bounty. So if you dig a little deeper into that heart space, you'll find that it's easier to accept and give love. To receive and give love to the people around you okay that comes back to not caring what other people think and being true to yourself giving yourself self-care self-respect and self-love okay take a nap wedding this situation involves marriage someone's getting married soon i think i know a particular scorpio who actually is getting married here soon. Congratulations, by the way. But that's wild that this card came out, isn't it? Huh? Let's see what the other one is. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So, I feel like maybe you guys need a honeymoon as well. Away from the kids. Yeah, easier said than done, right? But also, I feel like this is saying that someone needs to disconnect from social media for a little while like put down the phone put it put that phone down when you're laying in bed at night try not to be on the phone do that time use that time your before bed routine as self-care routine go take on ice hot long soak a salt bath or you know read a book or Look at a magazine or pick up some oracle cards and play with them. I don't know. Just disconnect from that social media and that outer world. The electronic world. Okay. Let me see. I'm going to see what angel messages there are for you. So can we get angel messages for Scorpio, please? Angel messages for Scorpio. Oh, there we go. Thank you. 
Can we get two more, please? Two more messages for Scorpio. I tried to come out, but it didn't. Two more messages for Scorpio, please. And as I'm shuffling these, I'm sure you guys can hear my fish tank in the background. It's quite loud. I apologize for that. One day, I'll have my own room for this stuff. Whoa! Okay. That went by by way down here. So now I've got to pick up. <sighs> Alright, one more card, please. And just spirit and guides. One more card for Scorpio. Do we have one? Oh, there it goes. One more card. Alright, let's see what these. Angel Vanessa, to make your decision, ask yourself which way brings you closer to your divine purpose. Which way takes you away from it? She looks like a badass angel, doesn't she? You are flying high right now, which may threaten others, but don't descend because others will soon become inspired by your example. That comes back to um, not seeking anybody's approval. Just do you, be you, and don't worry about what others think. You are at the end of a cycle in your life. Call upon your angels to comfort you and to guide you to your next step. Happiness awaits you. So for a lot of us, you might have been feeling uh, super emotional, not being able to sleep at night. These energies are kind of making things tenfold on you right now because of the Schumann residence. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, Google it. A whole nother video, though. Alright, let's see. Oh, dang, those came out. Oops. Whoa. Alright, well, we've got four here. From this other deck. Prioritize. Focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. This is from Archangel Metatron. These are kind of hard to see, though. And all my lights all around me are reflecting off of. Take back your power, Archangel Raziel. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. If things are seeming really tough and kind of hard, you can manifest them to get better. You can make them get better. It's all about having an attitude of gratitude and believing that it will get better. Also, don't forget to ask your angels for help and guidance on it. Overcoming difficulties. The worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. You're getting there. You're, cl you're about to peak that mountain. The top of that mountain. Chakra clearing. Archangel Metatron. Call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric saves. If you're not familiar with the whole chakra stuff, just start out by googling chakras. Or even Archangel Metatron and how he helps with chakra clearing. But that could be another self-care ritual you could do in the evenings. Instead of being, you know, staring at the screen on your phone, pull up a YouTube video, a guided chakra clearing meditation. And, you know, they go down to as little as three or five or ten minutes. So they don't have to be that long. And you can listen to it as many times as you'd like. So now we're going to see what advice is from Spirit. And I kind of have an idea what's going to go on here. But I'll shuffle just the same, okay? I feel like I sound like a broken record sometimes. That one. Let's see. Let me get a few more. And one more, please. Guys, thank you. Okay. Connection. Connection. Connect with someone special. A loved one is a gift to treasure. Achievement. Chase your dreams. You may be surprised by where they lead you. Again, I feel like that's pointing towards don't be afraid to be yourself for some reason. Relaxation. Look at the butterfly. You guys might be seeing butterflies a lot too. That's 
a part of the signs and synchronicities as your angels or your spirit team saying hey we're here allow yourself to be lazy it's okay to do nothing yes scorpio it's okay to do nothing it's part of giving yourself that self-love and self-care okay intent focus your energy there is amazing power and a strong intention if you go home tonight and intend to relax and give yourself some self-care it'll help you even more to get to that self care and relaxation revelation listen to your life the right path will reveal itself and i feel like you are on the right path there was another card here i thought talking about your path oh well hmm i have a strange feeling to pull from my messages from heaven deck so let's just see what happens any messages here for any Scorpios out there? Oh, okay. They are sorry. They're sorry. Please forgive them. They didn't mean to do what they did. They didn't mean to go the way they did. I feel like that's saying. Let's go here one more time. They will always point you in the right direction. They're helping you go down your path. They're helping lead you down your path. Any other messages here for Scorpios? Believe in yourself. You can do it. Yes, you can. And that's going back to that self-love and resting and relaxing and being lazy. <laughs> you can do it. Believe it. You can do it. It can happen. Okay? Um... You need to fill your own cup back up. Take some time and rest. Rejuvenate. Revitalize. Refresh. Anything else here? Any other messages for Scorpio? I think that's it. Well, let me see what's on the bottom of the deck. Oh. As a soul, they can be in several places at once. Which is true. So just an FYI for your past on loved ones or your angels. Or, you know, God or Jesus or whoever you call on. They can be in more places at once. Alright, guys. Well, those are your messages for now. Thank you for tuning in. Love and light.